Hey guys, what is going on? I wanted to give a little bit of an update um, <clears throat> on the Naked Labs scanner that I'm getting, or that I have, I guess. Um, so I ordered it back, I think, in February. And uh, it was supposed to ship in April. Ended up being earlier, um, which was a nice surprise. Um, I got it on Thursday of last week. So today's Monday. Um, I got it, you know... It was kind of weird because they didn't make me sign for it. So, you know, it cost me, including shipping, it was about 1500 bucks. So, um, it's probably the most expensive thing I've ever ordered. Um, and they didn't require a signature, which is kind of weird. Um, and I've had things much cheaper that have required signatures. And it was from FedEx, which is the same things that always require signatures anyway. So, um, I thought that was kind of weird. But, obviously, you know, it didn't get stolen or anything like that. Um, I had it delivered. Tried to set it up seemed like the process was easy enough um, I was doing it and then I could not get like I initially got my phone to connect to uh, to the scanner um, and then it just would not actually scan and so I was like really frustrated with it so I emailed you know um, I emailed the company they got back to me within like five minutes so that was really cool um, and they were just like hey this scanner like one of the things is not working which I don't know I guess they knew that about like the software of it or like the sensor I don't know how they knew that um, but then they told me that and they said they would send over another one and then they would uh, pick up the replacement um, and so I I'm going to schedule that pickup after I receive the thing just to make sure you know that I get it because you know it's pretty expensive and uh, I'm already a little bit irritated about that but at the same time you know um, it came earlier than I thought it would and uh, very quick like I was emailing um, and it was super quick, so that was much appreciated. So, so far, other than, like, that, and they asked me about, you know, the shipping of it, um, how, like, was it handled and stuff like that. So, it seems like, you know, maybe that was something that was out of their control, um, like that, you know, whatever was wrong with it, I'm guessing they didn't do it on purpose. Um, and it seems like their customer service so far in response to that has been really good, um, and I think it's going to come on Thursday. I think that is, so I've, I have a couple things coming, um, you know, via FedEx. So I got a notification that something's going to be coming on Thursday. And I'm guessing it's that. Um, and so that would be like a week for that, which is pretty quick, I feel. So it seems like their customer service seems to be pretty good so far. Um, I was setting it up. Um, and I noticed they're talking about like optimization for the app. Um, and it was only for the Android app it was only limited to a few phones and not even like the most modern phones. So it was kind of weird. Um, I was thinking initially that my, considering my phone is not one of those that is like, it is officially, um, you know, optimized for that. That was where the error was coming from. Um, hopefully that's not the case cause I don't want to have to get a different phone, um, that I don't want just because, um, you know, it's not optimized for the app. So that would be super annoying. Um, but I don't think that's the case because the app did seem to be working, but I will see with this new unit. If this new unit doesn't work, then that would be super annoying. Uh, but other than that, just in terms of, you know, customer support seems to be pretty good so far. Um, obviously I haven't been able to actually test out any type of accuracy or anything like that. Um, setup seemed pretty easy. Um, I feel like I set it up correctly. I just was not able to actually do the scan, um, but it seemed pretty easy, um, what I didn't know is that you actually can do the scans in the dark, which is super cool. Um, I thought it was, you know, this like purely optical thing, um, which could, you know, still could be, but um, that was pretty surprising to me. So I live like in a basement and so I was kind of like trying to do it in an area with a lot of light. But now that I can do it like pretty much anywhere, um, that's pretty cool to me. Um, we'll see how it works. So, you know, probably on Thursday, if I get it, I will make a video then about it um, if there's no issues. Um, and I'll talk about, you know, app compatibility and stuff like that when I actually get it. But I just want to keep you updated on that because um, I did say it'd be coming like in mid-March. So it did come, what is that, maybe it was like the 19th or something like that um, when it got here. Actually, it was probably a little bit later than that. Whenever Thursday was, um, that's when it got here. So that's my experience with them so far. Obviously, no real comments about the actual product just because I haven't really been able to use it. Um, but if there's another, you know, issue with something... Um, you know, that wouldn't be good. But in terms of just purely customer support, it seems to be pretty, uh, pretty
pretty good so far so I'm liking that already um, and I'm hoping that this can be something that I have for years and having good customer support um, if they're doing updates and stuff like that or if you know anything needs to be fixed or whatever um, seems to be pretty good for the time being so you know probably um, pretty expensive piece of equipment I don't know if it needs to be that expensive but I don't know any other thing that can give me a similar you know experience so it was something I thought it was worth I know a lot of people um, <clears throat> that I've talked to about it they're like oh I, I definitely wouldn't pay for that or whatever and I totally understand that um, but I just feel like nobody is really um, either tracking um, you know on a level like that as consistently as I probably would be if I had it or when I get it um, as well as I don't really know anybody who's actually making a video um, about like it's ex their experience with it over time so I'm hoping to be able to do that if anybody's interested in it I'm guessing it's probably a very niche thing but if you are somebody like me who thinks it's worth it you know I hope to positive or negative give you like an honest you know review about it so hopefully that'll be coming within the next week so I'll keep you updated on that and I'll talk to you soon